Russia is proposing alternative payment systems and commodity centers. It is only normal because the sanction that the West, Western countries, US and its allies sanctioned Russia in 2022 is not a small sanction. So Russian president or Russia as a country have to devise other means to be able to do businesses with other countries or export their goods in order for them to be able to generate revenues in order to run their country the way it's supposed to be. The proposal aims to strengthen BRICS economy sovereignty and reduce dollar reliance because it is the sanction America and the Western allies sanctioned Russia in 2022 was what gave birth to the dollarization agenda of the BRICS. Challenges include entrenched dollar dominance and existing global trading systems liquidity. Russia has released new details on how it could move away from the dollar apart from a long-running effort to bull trade amid Western sanctions. Earlier this month, Russia's finance minister, East Central Bank and Moscow-based consultancy Yakov and Partners outlined the country's vision of what the country is aiming for in a report. Other than championing alternative payment systems based in non-dollar currencies, Russia is also pitching the setup of centers for mutual trade in commodity resources. Russia is a commodity giant and a major producer of oil, natural gas, gold and grains. However, the country has been heavily sanctioned by the U.S. following its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, which has impacted its oil and gas trade. The report proposed setting up foundations for commodity trading centers but did not provide details. However, it explained why it was a good idea. This measure will ensure independent pricing and strengthening the sovereignty of the BRICS economies, the report said. Referring to Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, the anchor members of the BRICS Emerging Markets Group. Such a measure would add to what Russia is already doing to keep trade human amid sweeping sanctions such as those that block banks from dealing with payment transactions involving Russian companies. Another offbeat way Russia is beating sanctions is barter trade. One Russian company struck an agreement to trade chickpeas and lentils for tangerines, rice and potatoes from Pakistan, according to TAS state news agency earlier this month. So, in other words, Russia is trading with this Pakistani company, what they call butter trade, which in the olden days you called, is called trade by butter. It means I have what you want and you have what I want, we exchange it. Such alternative payment systems and bartering are based on a notion that many, any involved institutions, even if faced with extraterritorial restrictions, will retain unchallenged access to their domestic market that will allow them to effectively facilitate domestic and cross-border transactions, the report said. Moving BRICS trade to trading centers within the block would also involve the use of local currencies and facilitate a move away from using the US dollar for trade according to the document. Russia's report on alternative payments and trading systems came weeks before the annual BRICS summit, which will be held on Russian city of Kazan from October 22 to October 2024. The proposal also came months after Russia proposed a green trading exchange for BRICS members as Interface News Agency reported in April. So truth be told, eh? Russia has a lot to offer to a whole lot of countries, the same with Ukraine. And if you check, since two years and that this war has been ongoing, the prices of these commodities in the countries that has been dealing with Russia and Ukraine have skyrocketed because the war is not making it easy for them to do businesses with all these countries the way and manners they have been doing it before. That is why it is high time for our politicians to go back to where they left their heart of humanity, put on that garment of humanity back, forgo their ego, forgo their pride, forgo their quest to remain affluent and remain in power and wear the garment of humanity. Because the, the more peace we enjoy all over the world, the more we will not have this existential threat.